morning church welcome back to our daily devotion insight today i'm going to share with you a devotion starting on a series of a few devotions it is entitled keys to answered prayer keys to answered prayer today number one faith faith hebrews 11 verse 6 says but without faith no one can please god we must believe that god is real and rewards everyone who searches for him from the cev you know just as the right key opens the door there are scriptural principles that act as keys to prayer for in the next few devotions Let's look at them. Amen? First, first key is faith. God doesn't necessarily respond to your need. One more time. God doesn't necessarily respond to your need. Look around and you will see that everyone has unmet needs as Christians. So what does God respond to? Your faith. Your faith in Him. But Satan... The enemy of our soul will try to fill your mind with doubts, all sort of doubts, all kinds of doubts. And when he does, you need to examine your heart and see what it says in your heart about God, about who he is, about what he can do for you, and about how powerful he is and how much he loves you. You can believe God's word in your heart even when your mind questions it. So stand on what's in your heart instead of what's in your head. You got it? Stand on what is in your heart, your heart that believes rather than what you think in your mind. Sometimes doubts begins with distraction. When things come, when confusion comes, when sicknesses comes, when when situation of life changes for the bad, when you are distracted from God's promises, God's word, you and I will start to doubt. And if, as you focus more and more on your problems, your faith begins to waver. When you focus more on problems, challenges, difficulties, than God's word and God himself. When that happens, you must refocus like a laser on God's promises and merely glance at your problem at the side of your eyes. Don't deny them, but don't give them undue attention. Don't let your problem, your challenges in life, your difficulty take all your time, all your focus and all your attention. Amen? Remember that. The Bible says in James 1 verses 6 to 8, it says, but when you ask for something, you must have faith and not doubt. Anyone who doubts is like an ocean wave tossed around in a storm. If you are that kind of person, you can't make up your mind and you surely can't be trusted. So don't expect the Lord to give you anything at all when you waver all the time because of situation and when you're governed by problems, situation and, and challenges in your life and the environment where you're in, where you're in, you know what? It will cause you not to waver in our faith and our focus on God. Amen. Remember that. So stay anchored to God's word and don't drift all over the place when your circumstance begin to change. Got it? Stay anchored in God's word. Don't dream all over the place when your circumstances begin to change. Focus on Him. Amen? The first key is faith. Have faith in God and you will get your answer. Amen? Let's pray. Father, we pray that you will bless us with a great day. Protect over us. Help us to have faith in you and look to you and focus on you. Bless us with a great day. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. God bless you and you have a great day.